Hello, my name is Mike Raj and this is lecture on hydrogen and this is for descriptive inorganic chemistry and this lecture is basically uh, deals with the element hydrogen and it's an elemental analysis lecture. Purpose. What is this lecture for? This lecture is to educate and this Lecture is primarily intended for freshman undergrads. So why is this element so important? Well, this element is important because it can be the fuel of the future. And if you have that uh, technology or a technique whereby you can harness the power of hydrogen freely and readily and cheaply, then you have total energy independence. So what is hydrogen? Hydrogen is an element, symbol having H. Um, it is the most abundant element in the universe, constituting about 75% of Sun and the universe. It's highly, extremely flammable. It has an atomic mass of 1.008, an atomic number of 1, and it constitutes about 10% of the body weight and 51.15% of Earth's crust and 11% of oceans and it is called primus elementalis it is the first element of the universe it is from this element that all other elements were uh, created through a process called nucleogenesis or synthesis whereby star by the power of fusion compressed and condensed this hydrogen into the many elemental forms that is uh, readily for, uh, uh, visible today. Discovery and history. So it was discovered in 1766 in United Kingdom by the discoverer Henry Cavendish. He named it flammable air. Before that, Robert Boyle had discovered it, but he did not identify it as an element or describe its main characteristics. Physical and chemical properties. It is a gas, di dioatomic in nature, colorless. It has density of 0 0.0899 gram per liter. It has electron configuration of 1s to the power of 1, melting point of minus 259 Celsius, boiling point of minus 252 2 Celsius. It has an electronegativity of 2.2, ionization energy of 1312 kilojoules per mole. It is neither electric and electrically conductive or has any superconductive capacity. Uh, it is diamagnetic. It has atomic radius of 53 pico, uh, pico moles, picometers, excuse me, picometers. And it has a neutron mass absorption of 0 0.011. Isotopes. There are three main isotopes present in a hydrogen, uh, hydrogen, uh, hydrogen element in proteinium, in proteinium form, deuterium form, and tritium form. There are seven known isotopes uh, H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6, and H7. Only H1, H2, and H3 are chemically and scientifically relevant. All other isotopes spontaneously decay less than a, less than a second. And the isotopic abundance is protonium is found uh, and is readily found in nature in uh, considerable ninety nine point nine percent, while uh, deuterium is 0.0115 percent. It is also found, deuterium is also found in nature in very small, minute quantities. Yeah. Whereas tritium is not readily found. Um, they say it is uh, found, but it's in very low, undetectable levels. But it's not really found in nature. Deuterium. It's a stable isotope, behaves like a new element. Here you can see the atomic weight of deuterium versus hydrogen is twice heavy, abundance is low. Uh, mass excess is almost double. Binding energy is higher. That means it has a mm, higher potential. Uh, magnetic moment is smaller. That means a magnetic flux has less mm, less uh, directive uh, mm, directive uh, directive potential over it, meaning it can't be easily moved.
by magnetic uh, flux. Quadrupole moment, here you can see it's zero. It's 0 0.00286. So what are the use of deuterium? It is uh, found in nuclear industry, fission. It is used as heavy water for reactors as a coolant. Uh, deuterium depleted water or DDW for it's used for anti-cancer remedial therapy. It speeds up cellular machinery. So deuterium uh, in its form actually slows down cellular machinery. And if you have water that is depleted of deuterium, it speeds up cellular machinery. And it's used in, and used in spectroscopic um, uh, techniques. It helps in easy identification of elements and compounds. It's used in HNMR, Raman, uh, infrared, and microwave uh, spectroscopic techniques. And it's uh, used in research and possibly in fusion uh, to form uh, through the process of nucleogenesis synthesis as it's found in stars by fusion. And far, interestingly, it is also used in, uh, has been researched in pharmaceuticals, not readily used. Uh, deuterium slows down drug metabolism and thus requires smaller doses for effective therapy. Because deuterium is heavier than uh, regular water, it binds more tighter, and and because of that, uh, metabolism is slowed down. Tritium or T. Tritium uses and properties. It's used in uh, energy, nuclear power for fusion, H bomb, uh, also called hydrogen bomb, a composite of fission and fusion, and possible future energy alternative if. Uh, if fusion is possible. It's radioactive with half-life of 12.32 years. It's biological poison if consumed. Um, uh, it has a radioactive decay, beta, beta radiation, electron emission. Dosage of decay is low to mild. And it, it, it also behaves like a new element. And here you can see atomic weight is three, uh, mass excess, binding energy, Magnetic uh, moment is pretty high, so it's easily influenced by magnetic flux. Common hydrates, water, ammonia, methane, and alkane. These are the common hydrides. Water, H2O, most prevalent and biologically active solvating hydride. It lacks flammability. It has high solvation power, most potent solvent in the universe. It has high electric potential if ions are present. If not, it, it has uh, electric current is not passable. It, it has a suitable phase change. It has it can be gas, liquid, solid, or it can be made into supercritical fluid where it has super solvent properties. Its composition is two atoms, uh, two hydrogen atoms with one oxygen atom. It's hamphoteric, meaning it, it, it can act as an acid or base, but in a weak nature. Ammonia NH3, methane CH3, etc. Ammonia NH3, main use are as fertilizers and low yield explosives, and it has other industrial applications as in a cleaning agents. Formation is usually processed and formed through high, end, high intensive energy process called Haber Bosch process because a lot of energy. Uh, methane, CH3, and other alkanes. It is used as a fuel, industrial additives like oils, like uh, and it also is uh, used in as regions for other industrial processes like plastic making, uh, etc. Formation is a fossil fuel. It can be made artificially, but it needs high temperature and medium. Uh, I mean, high pressure and medium temperature. Energy, past, present, and future energy. Hydrogen grants flammability aspect to compounds. So. Uh, so, as in the case of cellulose, wood, and coal. In the present tense, uh, alkanes is readily used as in gasoline, diesel, uh, jet fuel, etc. But you, there is a potential chance of using hydrogen, H2, in the long run. If a catalyst, uh, it, a catalyst can be cheaply made uh, that, uh, that can uh, pr provide fusion for hydrogen, hydrogen and oxygen. So thereby creating water and energy. And the other alternative is combustion of a hydrogen. Um, if that is present also, but it, it, it there's a drawbacks for that as well. Future, tritium, fusion. Is tritium possible? 
uh, if fusion is possible and tritium is likely easily cheaply made and if that is the case you get infinite source of uh, not really infinite but a steady stream of uh, electricity uh, electric current electrons uh, low to mild energy there are two alternates for h2 energy the first one is fuel so uh, it has a maximum uh, efficiency of 60 percent has no byproduct except water and low levels of nitric oxide it needs though it needs high energy and it needs catalytic complex for fusion and catalyst costs a lot of money like pl uh, platinum and pl uh, palladium and so forth h2 com uh, combustion maximum efficiency is 32 percent efficiency a uh, byproduct of nitric oxide uh, carbon dioxide etc there's no, no no need of additional energy because all energies are readily available condensed form so but it needs a large space for storage and it's highly flammable but the good thing is it has a low ignition so hydrogen a uh, quick summary a uh, main constituent in universe it's highly flammable uh, protium, deuterium, tritium isotopes, huge energy potential. Uh, constituent in water, H2O. So yes, hydrogen is definitely the future of energy. If if you if you can unlock and break the water molecules readily and easily and cheaply, then hydrogen is definitely the future. So references. Um, uh, so the first reference is basic elements of life uh, and here it just talks about the characteristics of hydrogen different co components of hydrogen and how how, how uh, the, um, the physical and chemical characteristics and here they talks about the different aspect of hydrogen can be utilized uh, and here uh, the uh, hydrogen the fuel of the future it talks about uh the two types of way the two ways hydrogen can be utilized uh, one in hydrogen combustion the other is in fuel cell and here it also talks about the potential of using nuclear energy for h2 gas production which in itself is kind of a little bit off balance but it can be done it can be done but h2 generation gas by itself is highly dangerous and uh, close to a, a nuclear power plant is not it's not advisable and here it talks of new testing industrial wastes for uh, here is particularly interesting of turning uh, solid or liquid waste uh, whether it be human or animal waste into um, into hydrogen um, there's all, already a company called magna gas that does this uh, it does it by utilizing high voltage uh, high voltage and transforming uh, um, uh, transforming the the uh, source which is waste uh, into uh, syngas mm, so it is already in use uh, this kind of technology but it's patented uh, they, they use high level of voltage and they use a carbon cathode for that it's um, it's very uh, it's energy intensive that means you need to put a lot of energy in in order to take out a lot of energy that means you need the sun wind so um, uh, nuclear or coal whatever you have to put in and then you get this the syngas the hydrogen out of it and this one it also talks uh, this this is this uh, this art talks about the molecular orbital theory where um uh, it's it's a it's a theory that helps you to understand the inner workings uh, somewhat in inner workings of uh, of of an atom so this is this this is really needed and this one is the therapeutic components of acid base balance because what basically hydrogen is it is highly flammable, but when you combine it with a bio biological uh, biological construct, it can uh, it can work as a skeleton or it can work in acid base uh, complex. Um, uh, for example, deuterium. Deuterium has heavy, uh, heavy mass, and because of that, the chem the pH complex of of a particular pharmaceutical um, molecule. Uh, changes so if it behaved um, like an acid uh, if there is protein uh, protein when, when you replace it with deuterium it might not behave as an readily uh, um, as a ready acid so Sergey I um, mean this 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 is actually a book um, 
and it talks about deuterium the basic uh, anatomical nature of matter and the historical significance of such things so segri uh, from x-rays to quarks uh, he is actually the first published in 1976 uh, he's a he's the first physicist who worked with uh, uh, during the era of new uh, isaac new, uh, um, einstein and so forth and here is the technical data for hydrogen, another uh, uh, source that talks about, that, that gives details of physical and uh, chemical characteristics. And here is talks about the source talks about Henry Cavendish, the man who actually uh, characterized and uh, stated that was uh, uh, characterized hydrogen as an independent element and so forth. And here, this is another interesting book. It talks about uh, deuterium. Uh, deuterium and its uh, significance in modern chemistry including pharmaceuticals it's a, it's a good read this is a, a small book 120 60 pages book it's a good read uh, it talks about deuterium and uh, uh, the author provides yang provides uh, many examples of usage of deuterium in organic chemistry synthesis so, so once again, this is Mike Raj for Descriptive Inorganic Chemistry and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and this is ele Elemental Analysis of Hydrogen. Thank you.